Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're here with a new game for the channel, Project High Rise. Something I really wanted to check out, I kind of like management style games, and this is a management style game. Very similar in a way to kind of like how RimWorld is a management style game that I've been playing. You have to keep tenants happy, just like you have to keep your colonists happy, and you're building upward and sideways, instead of so much outward like you would in RimWorld. Obviously the concepts are completely different, we're not trying to survive in a harsh world filled with tribalists and spacers attempting to shoot us down and take our stuff, but instead we're trying to survive in corporate, wherever we are. And to do that we have to make money and build things up. Now one of the things that I do like to check out is the scenario I've done, if actually if we go back here we can see tutorials. There are a few tutorials that you can do, there's five of them that kind of teaches you about the game. I've went ahead and gone through all of those, and I'd like to try some of these scenarios real quick. If you click on them, it'll give you a difficulty level, kind of like a little description of exactly what the scenario is, and then you have to open up a few of them and get medals before you can move all the way down. We'll go ahead and just try one out just to give it a shot and then eventually we'll be doing our own sandbox style where we build whatever we want and kind of go from there. This one right here says neighborhood revitalization. I'd like to give it a shot. The difficulty is easy, which is good since I haven't truly attempted to sustain my own building yet. And it says this area of town has seen better days. And if those in power have their way, it will see those better days again soon. This building was once a jewel in the city's architectural pantheon. Its lobby retains a vestige of those bygone glories with a running, with a stunning lobby mural protected by the city's landmark commission. Your task is to revive the building to its former splendor. The landmark commission will arrange for subsidies for floor and infrastructure construction. Sounds like fun. We also have Lake Point Tower and then the Merchandise Mart. But we're going to go ahead with the neighborhood revitalization, give this a shot, see what it's like to kind of bring a tower up to snuff. And other than that, just see kind of how the game plays. I'm expecting a more laid back, nice, calm, enjoyable game than a lot of my other games where I'm running all around and trying not to die. Let me see here. Scenario goals. Renew recovery. Restore this building to solid financial health with daily revenues of $25,000 or more. Neighborhood recovery. Achieve the city's goal of revitalizing this neighborhood by having a building population of at least 250 and new landmarks. Add your own contribution to the building's already significant artistic trust with a new fountain either inside or outside. Okay, so 7%. Oh, if you hover over them, it will tell you exactly how close you are. Our revenue was $155. You can see this place looks beat. This place is busted up big time. So there's a lot of things that we're going to have to do. Now, very similar to many management style games, we use the one and two button to speed up or slow down and the space bar to pause things, WD, uh, WASD keys to move back and forth, and then you can click on things with your mouse in order to see kind of what's going on. We have Moon Cash Coffee, not at all like Starbucks, and it serves coffee and breakfast, so I would probably be there quite a bit. The satisfaction eh, looks like a little happy face there. Rent is too high, we should be paying less, and we like being in a high traffic area. Okay, so this is kind of like what they don't like about the place, what they do like about the place, and then it shows a little bit about the rent amount, how many employees they have, and what time they're open till. They're open very early in the morning. They've gotten 635 revenue so far today. So the entire building is actually decently substantial. We can see there's quite a bit here. We have a decent utility area on the bottom. We've got elevators going all the way up. Got our utility closet over here. And okay, so what we need to do is get this cash flow here stabilized because as of right now, we can see that it's not doing great. Now, one of the things I do know is renovating these different offices and things of that nature, that's probably something that we're going to have to do because if we go in here, we can see they're just filled with water stains and I don't know, it just it just looks pretty damn bad. You can see here, this unit is getting worn down. So let's see what we can do if we go over to our construction team. I do believe they're hanging around here somewhere. That kind of looks like them. Renovate 11 offices, renovate restaurants, or renovate everything. Probably just go ahead and renovate everything. We need to get everything started so that everything looks good. Obviously, it's going to use a little bit of money, but what can you do? So, 
that's going to happen. We're doing that right now. And from there, we need to think about getting the rest of these things occupied. So we do have quite a few spaces in the office area as well. One of the things I've learned, oh, this is good, a medium electrical transformer. One of the things I've learned is that you want to get your transformers upgraded to medium as soon as possible because just having little tiny ones run you a huge amount of money. So it's just extra efficient to have them prepared and up to medium. See our little guy here working heavily. I'd like to relax in the pub after a long work day, says Steven or Steven. I know that uh, one of my buddies, actually, when I was growing up, always liked to be called Stefan. So, just a little a little mention there. And I think that's the appropriate terminology for his name. In case you guys didn't know, one of the things that I love doing is mispronouncing everyone's names. So, don't feel bad if I do that uh, when I either mention you eventually for your tips to how to get things done a little bit better or just saying hi to you eventually in some of these different videos. All right, let's continue moving on. Let's fill up some space. Now, we have a lot of elevators here. Elevators cost a lot of money to operate. I'm kind of considering ripping these down and just putting stairs because I do know that for the first three levels, stairs are things that you can use. But I guess I'll just kind of keep us where we are. Let's start getting some offices in here to get some money. Uh, what do we have down here? This is all what? This is a university newsstand. Then we have a burger grill. Then we have a flower place. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Go over here to... Accolade space to office tenants. Oh, a medium office. Build cost is free. How big is a medium office? Well, it's right around this big. Uh, it's bigger than anything we have, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we have that kind of space. So let's just do small for right now. This should be plenty of size. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. We could actually put one right over here if we wanted to. And we can put a person into it. From what I understand, insurance is one of the types of offices that have the simplest desires. Um, they really don't require very much. I think people also say that creative offices are decent as well. Let's see here. They're expecting an electrical line and a phone line. They also want courier services and an office supply store. Something has displeased one of your tenants. Now they're less satisfied with renting space in the, in the tower than they were before. All right, show me exactly what that is. Let's see here. This guy right over here. What's the problem? Go ahead and close this down. They're moving out. The rent is too high. We like to be in a high traffic, and we did not turn a profit. So, right now, we could modify the rent to keep them in place. We'll go ahead and give them... Let's see here. Can we change this specifically to an amount? I was kind of curious. I don't want to do a 75% rent, but that's kind of looking like... The only thing that we can do. I don't want to evict them either. Let's do that for right now. We'll give them a 75% uh, total rent. Man, it doesn't even look like they care. They're still pretty, pretty annoyed about what's going on here. I understand it's getting worn down. We're going to get everything set up though, guys. You guys just hang on. Let's continue getting people around here though. Over here, insurance folks, all they want is copy services. Do we have an office supply area? We have wine and spirits. This is all our lower infrastructure stuff. Copying center. Office supplies, so we do have office supplies. Okay, so I think we have everything that we're going to need for a nice creative office. Courier services. Do we have that? I guess that is the real question. Storeroom. We do have couriers, okay. So creative it is. We have basically everything that we need to get these people in here. So go on, get in there, we'll start building things up, and hopefully they'll be fairly happy with that. We can go ahead and probably continue with another office, because we still have plenty of space. I think we can do two down here. Yeah, we sure can. So let's get another one set up. What else can we do? That's the one creative office that we had. If I remember correctly, legal is fine as well. Copier and courier services, they need electrical lines, that's no big deal. They're paying 110 what else can we put in here? How about these insurance people? Oh, they're actually pretty darn cheap. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the legal folks. And Anita Gallagher 
How about you go ahead and move in? And maybe one additional legal building right down here as well. We'll get them moved in as well as... I think it was the Nugian? Yes, the Nugian tax offices. I could have sworn there was one more as well. Oh, that's the accounting. We don't want them. And we don't want Clarence either. We want David Olsen Limited. Build cost is 100. Eh, I'll pay it. I'm happy to see more individuals come into the building. And... We like being in a high traffic area. The unit's getting worn down. All right, I think it's just going to take us a lot of time to finally build all this stuff up. What else could we do here? Let's go, there's a bunch of overlays that you can look at. If you go over here, you can click on satisfaction, and kind of see where some of the dissatisfaction is happening. Right over here, rent is high. We should be paying less. There's our daily budget. We made a little bit of a profit. Not too much. Let's see here. It says total expenses, total revenue. Yeah, you can definitely see our revenue is starting to go up. I'm pretty happy about that. Revenue yesterday was 217 bucks. We had 23 customers and two regulars that like us. Wasn't well, that nice? And we're gaining more regular customers. I guess I can move this down. Let's see here. Satisfaction. It looks like the satisfaction level is going up as long as we keep it like this. Yeah, and then it'll go down if we keep if we move it on down. So let's kind of keep that where it is. It's like everyone's hating the rent right now. But again, our people are kind of moving through here, uh, bringing everything back up to snuff. It's just going to take some time. Pre-made fast food. So it's all about getting additional people. They want more, more individuals to bring them business and I'm interested in that as well so let's continue uh, what else can we put here I'd like to get add artworks decorative elements space for retail stores we've got quite a bit in the way of retail and food variety of reports demolition construct infrastructure and then electricity phone lines let me just make sure that the phone lines go all the way through here and it looks like those do, and it looks like the phone lines do as well. So that's excellent. Water, gas, no one needs any of that right now, so I'm not really worried about it. Build services. What else can we do? Apartment dwellers. Construct business support services. Courier, office supplies, bottled water, janitorial copy services. Not present, but desired. Not present, but desired. I'm surprised that it's not here. I could have sworn that we had a copy area around here. Let me double check on this. We've got a storeroom. We have a construction office, maintenance office. Copy center. We definitely have a copy center. And office supplies. So I'm somewhat surprised that that's saying that. Oh, that reminds me too. What are we looking at here for the renovation? I'm surprised there's still renovations that need to be done. I want to grab some dinner, but where? There's plenty of places to get dinner, isn't there? We've got uh, Moon Cash over here. We've got the Burger Grill. It's too run down. Click to send the maintenance crews to go renovate it. Oh, it might also just be because we're uh, so early in the morning. I think it's only like 3 a.m. right now. So that could be it as well. Just because I'm trying to click on that. But, oh. Uh -huh. Let's take a look here. Maybe it'll tell us. If we click on this, exactly when... I was wondering. I was hoping it would tell us what times this place is open from until... Because a lot of these places, if you click on it, it'll tell you the working hours. But it doesn't really go into it for these folks. Oh, right here. We can see it. We have a gentleman working on this area right now. Arthur works at the maintenance office. He had, he had a good lunch, and he's bringing this place back to a where it should be. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna let him continue to do that. We're just gonna fill the rest of our area out then. Apartment rentals. I haven't really ever done anything with apartment rentals. Tiny studio apartments. How big are these? 
too big, it looks like. And I don't want to put them in the basement. And we have a nice lobby over there. Okay, yeah, we're just going to get everything continued to fill out. Let's go back over here to our small offices. And we're just going to continue getting as many people as we can. Another legal office we could have. Let's get Solomon in there. Solomon Limited. And while we're at it, we have... This is interesting. We have, like, enough space for this and then a little bit extra space. I'm kind of surprised that we have that. Um, but that's fine. We'll put this here, I guess. And from there, we can book a nice accounting agent, I suppose. Courier and copier services. We have all that. So no big deal. I do want to make sure that we have all of the electricity that we'll need as well. So electricity does go all the way through, so I'm not at all worried about that. While we're here, let's see, buzz is generated. We have two buzz. When we have 50, we can spend it on a campaign. Let's see here. Influence, apartment residence, aesthetics, small artworks by building an interior decorator's office. Oh, that's right. Over here, construct an office for an interior decorator. You need 10 influence before we can do that. So that's something we have to worry about. We have to kind of continuous, continue to get influence, it looks like. So let's, um, let's do that. In fact, let's fast forward things along. Kind of get our little builders here. Look at this guy hammering away. Oh my god, it looks like his hand's going to fly off his body. Holy Jesus. I had no idea that these people worked so hard when it came to renovating everything. Yes, renovate my buildings, damn it. And while we're at it. We may want to put up some sculptures and things. Ah, now everyone's filing into work. I love it. Yes. Build services, construct business. And we can't build any of those yet. I kind of want to get... What kind of other retail stores do we have? Ooh, what was that? Hold on, did someone just run out? This tenant is considered moving out. Unit's getting worn down. All right, let's, uh, I'll bring your rent down a little bit. Maybe that'll kind of uh, help things out a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting there. We got a little bit of buzz back up from that. And I'm kind of hoping that these folks over here, now who, we had some people paying a little bit less rent. And I'd like to kind of find them so that we can put their rent back to where it should be. Let me just double check over here. These folks were at 75% uh, rent. Oh, their satisfaction is going down right now, too. Even at 75% rent. What a what a bunch of jerks. Man. I do kind of like this, though. I like just the little bit of management that you can do, and you can kind of just, like, wander around and kind of, like, check on everyone, make sure everything's doing okay. We've got a little bit of space here for one more office, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I think we have... Do we have anyone else we can put there? Oh, another insurance agent. 95 we can throw him in there that's good a little bit more money per day is fine we're getting 652 dollars per day it's getting pretty late at night right now let's go ahead and check the report out for the day too satisfaction what is it like a little bit dark in some areas mainly here here i'm surprised what are they so annoyed at up here they seem unhappy Ooh, our profits are definitely going up we do have some expenditures but the profit line is starting to meet the expenditure line, which I do enjoy. They're unhappy. That's it. They're just unhappy. It doesn't really say why or anything. They just are. Graphic designer studio. Interesting. Man, these folks are loving it. Our rent is too high. You go to hell. Your rent's going to continue to be high because I need to make money. And... Their happiness... Okay, their happiness is staying up if we keep it at 75%. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Check out grime, trash, smells, noise. Oh, it's actually very noisy. Aesthetics. And our two most profitable places are over here. The little moon, little moon catch, coffee, and then the bagel shop. All right. We'll turn this off for right now. Go ahead and slow things down to normal speed. A new day has come. 8 o'clock in the morning. Everyone's filing in right now. And I think that most of our areas are... Let's see here. Renovate one tenant. We'll go ahead and do that. I want to make sure that our tenants are looking as best they can. 
And while we're at it, man, I'd like to add like more artwork or something like that while we're down here. What can I do for that? Uh, decorative elements. There we go. Some furniture. Some interior plants. Some lighting. Ooh, what do we got here? Shed some light. Cannot be placed on glass. A nice ceiling fixture. Fluorescent lighting. All this is free too. Hmm. Fancy globes to illuminate hallways. All right, well, how do we do it? Put one here. Put one here. Yeah. Oh, we already have sconces in there, don't we? I think that's what this is, isn't it? A lovely wall sconce. Well, now it's really lit up in there. How about um, a water dispenser? Trash can, all right. Cabinets, wallpaper. Do we have any wallpaper? Glass fixtures, glass globes, basic wall covering, suitable backdrops. Uh, wainscoted walls. What would that do? Can we even put that there? How about this? Oh. All right, I guess you can kind of drag along if you'd like. Full height window. Gary's guarantees unforgettable views. Just don't lean on it. All right. Uh, let's put some plants down then. We got some ficus trees, potted palms, potted uh, brumlades, Madagascar dragon plants. Ooh. Uh, maybe a nice dragon plant? Are we not allowed to put this there? Oh, the space is occupied. I've got it. We can put them in here though, can't we? Holy crap. Uh, yeah. There. Maybe you guys will enjoy that a little bit. Maybe we can even put down some more ficuses as well. Maybe like one there, one there, eh? And furnitures, lobby chair, armchair, like these lobby chairs. Now, I kind of wonder if you need to, if like, you know the area, like when you put down these plants and stuff like that, or these sconces, I wonder if that is what keeps you from putting things down. Like what happens if we just kind of like bulldoze this stuff out? Can I go back over to the chairs and put one down? Oh, I can. There we go. Two chairs there. We're gonna get rid of this stuff. I just feel weird having it there like that. Let's do this. And let's go back over here. And we'll take down two of these as well. Just kind of get rid of these plants. Oh, hi there. It's been a good day so far. Let me get rid of the, the, uh, the plant and put down some more of the... What is this here? A modernist black chair. Well, I'd like to keep them looking the same all throughout. There we go. Now we've got some chairs in the lobby area. Maybe people will sit down every once in a while. I don't know. Still have some space over here. So let's see what what else anyone wants. High traffic area. Basically, I think the biggest thing is we need to put like another, like another maybe office here or something. Wine, spirits. Or, I wonder if you want to keep all of your food and stuff on the same level. Maybe that's what it is. Let's try that. Go over here to... Retail stores. About a small... Oh, that's right. We can't fit the retail store. How about another restaurant? Maybe you can put one right over here. There we are. Uh, a nice food court restaurant. Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Let's do, uh, Fresh Park View Burritos. Sounds like fun. People have a place to eat some burritos. And our population is starting to get up as well. Our influence is starting to jump up now. We're up to five, which is kind of nice. Something that I'd like to check into. Let me see here. Contracts. We haven't done any of those yet, and we should. Remind the public. Grants one prestige. Uh, what does it want here? This was once a great building popular with many denizens of downtown. Generate more daily visitors and generate some buzz so people start renewing their once fond associations. This is like little quests that you can do. You can kind of click on a few of these and you can start doing them. I think you can have two at any given time. Yeah, you can. Um, let's do this one. Might as well. We may have already finished it. 33% complete. Basic offices. 
It wants us to build 16 offices and then studio apartments. Mm, okay, let's do the offices first. So we'll kind of do that for right now. We are, it wants, let's see, one more insurance agent because man, we have enough of everything else. So do we have space to put anyone else in? I don't think that we do. We're gonna have to build another floor, but that's fine. Um, let's start doing that then. Floor pieces. So we're gonna want an elevator, but let's do the floor pieces first. So we'll kind of oh, get one more over there as well. Bring all this across like that. There we are. And now let's grab an elevator and put it up there as well. Right about here. Yes. Now we're gonna want to make sure that we have power and different utilities and stuff going up here. So let's actually grab that real quick. Connect uh, utilities. Oh, we need a closet. I want to make sure that we have a closet. Here we go. Wiring closets right here. Put one of those down. And now we can actually bring our electricity all the way through. So let's do that. We will, let's see, lay down electrical lines. There we go. Want them all the way over and all the way over here as well. And I imagine we're going to want phones because people always want phones as well. In fact, let's do that right now. Yeah, you can see all the other floors have phones. So let's do this. We have plenty of money too to burn, so I'm not worried about it. There we go. And that should do it, man. Now we just have to wait until all this place gets built. Um, the elevator is almost done. We do need one more office left and we can complete that little contract, so to speak. So, let's see here. Oh, it's not done getting built yet. So let's fast forward everything along. Have everyone hammering it out, so to speak. Oh yeah, guys, work on it. I want to get those offices ready. Finish it up, man. Just, uh, what is it? One more over here and they'll be done? Maybe they are done at this point. Let's see if we can get an office in here. Nope, not yet. Ah, oh, we can get an office over here, though. So let's do that right away. One more insurance agent. City Incorporated. Global Insurance Co. or Bedrock? Bedrock. Sounds like they go hard. So let's do them. Bedrock's in. And... Basic offices, once they move in, we should be good to go. So let's um, let's go ahead and unpause. We'll kind of move along here. And then tomorrow, we should get our final tenant in here and I hope we'll be wrapping up. There we go, you completed the contract, basic offices. The reward payment of $1,000 has been wired to your account. If you, if you feel up to it, more lucrative contracts may be available. Nice, and we got a little bit more buzz and we've got quite a bit, quite a bit of influence. Oh yeah, man. Look at that. Look at the revenue. Look at the cash flow. We're starting to jump up nowadays. Having over 10 of the influence means that we should be able to get an interior decorator. That's awesome. So let's get her done. We'll put them all the way over. Eh, you know what? I'll put you kind of next to the elevator. We'll get them in here. And once this get, gets built, it will improve the appearance and attractiveness of your building. We should have a couple of things that we'll be able to do there. I'm really looking forward to that. Guys, hope you're enjoying Project High Rise so far. It is a really cute little game. It runs very smooth. The sound effects are pretty damn good. And I don't know, everything is for the most part easy to figure out. I mean, it's self-intuitive for the most part. I'm kind of enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. Till then, stay foxy and much love.